What's going on, human beings? This is your boy Paradox again, trying to give you another really kind of funny, kind of creepy story, all right? And this is about my first stalker kid experience. There's like three stories in this, so hang in there. This is part one. There's going to be a part three series about this. Uh, first part, dealing with my first sleepover with him and my friend Alex. My friend Alex is going to be mentioned in a lot of stories because he was in my childhood a lot, too. He's like a brother. We're kind of just quiet now, but other than that, so let's get into the story, shall we? Alright, so this is around 2014, 2015, maybe 13. I don't know, I can't remember. But it was a it was a day where me and Alex were playing Tony Hawk's Underground, just enjoying our life, and we're having a really great two-person sleeper, and then Cordell comes over. Cordell's this kid that has barely any friends, so I felt really bad for him, but Alex could care less. So I let him stay at night with us, and we're all playing Tony Hawk's Underground. We're just having a good time, doing the storyline, playing two-player, we're, we're talking... And we're eating snacks, you know. It was like whatever your kid did around that time. So uh, he comes over and he starts saying weird, disgusting stuff that he did with his brother. Stuff that should be illegal. Um, he just starts getting like really, really graphic with details. And we're kind of getting disgusted. So what was my first thought? My first thought was to tell him to stop. And he goes, why? I'm just being honest with you. And I was like, you can be honest, but you really don't have to tell us the disgusting things you do inside your house that might be illegal. I really don't like that kind of stuff. I'm a weird guy. I like doing weird stuff. And I like talking about weird stuff. And when you take it too far like that, you kind of have to stop. So I asked him politely at first, and they kept doing it, so I kicked him out. My uncle, who saw him crying and throwing a little bitch fit, um, looked at me and yelled at me and gave me a lecture because he believes everybody should be treated nice. And I respect that. But he should have known this guy was, like, trouble. Alright? So he comes over to me. He's like, you gotta let him stay over. That is mean. You can't just kick him out. And even my grandma, who I was staying with, because it's like a three-house apartment. Top apartment being me and my parents. Uh, the middle floor being my grandma. And the basement being my Uncle Chad. So my grandma was like, he's saying disgusting things, Chad. And Chad's like, I don't care. He should be able to stay over, too, if Alex is allowed to stay over. So, of course, I let him stay overnight. And we're just... It's, it's half ruined for me. The sleeper was half ruined. It wasn't that fun anymore, but oh well, you know, we just kind of, we kind of deal with it, and it made me mad, it made me mad, don't get me wrong, but I was like, well, Alex is still here, we're still playing Tony Hawk, we're having a great time, well, later that night, he started getting even more weirder, and since my uncle was asleep, I decided to kick him out again, so me and Alex can have fun, I'm not trying to be a dick, but, you know, that's what happens when you push my buttons, you know? So he gets out, but we never heard the front door or back door shut. So we thought he didn't leave the house, so we're checking the house and all that stuff. And it's like around 10, and I was kind of getting a little creeped out, because my uh, mill floor is kind of creeped at night. So we go back in the room, we start playing video games, and we hear tapping on the window. And I'm like, tapping on the window? So I go to look, nothing there the first time. I go look the second time, nothing there. Taps again, I stay at the curtain, I open it, and it was that kid saying that he was locked out of his house and he couldn't stay at his parents and i was like oh well bye and i kind of just like cussed him out not like actually cussed him out but i yelled at him and shut the window but uh he kind of just stood there talking to himself in a weird way until my brother came out and he said what the hell are you doing in our yard get out of here you know what i mean so other than that my grandma finds out they sit out here in the yard locked out of his parents house and he's like well he has to stay here tonight kids i'm sorry and i'm just like no please don't come on this, this is bull crap you know what i mean I'm, i was getting mad i was getting infuriated you know so he he, he stays the night and we're just hating it we're, we're mad we're trying to play the tony hawk game like we've been doing all day because that was like nine percent of our sleeper which is just fun you know what i mean and we're trying to play we're trying to have fun he's sitting there making vulgar things in the back saying he's going to shove things up his anus and he's saying he's going to do stuff and it's just weird we just I, I wanted to hit him so bad well that comes in the future when he uh he's on the floor and me and my friend are on the bed just hanging out talking playing video games he comes on the bed and tries to touch us so i kicked him really hard in the head I end up doing that a few times, but I kicked him really hard in the head, and he kind of just, like, lay on the floor, and he goes, I'm going to bed, you guys are mean to me, and I was like, good, you know, go to bed, dude, I had enough of this, so me and my friend actually started having fun for a while, until he started making whale noises, and the whale noises he was making was just like, ooh, ooh, and he was flopping on the floor like a fish, and we got the attention of my uncle, who blamed me for the whole thing. But that'll come in later in the story. So we're trying to get him to calm down. You know, we're telling him to stop moving around. Derek's trying to sleep. This baby needs to sleep. So he keeps flopping on the floor, making all these whale noises and stuff. And it's making me, like, really mad, this kid. I basically just kept telling him, you know, if you don't stop, 
if you really don't stop, I'm going to start taking, you know, matters in my own hands. Instead, tell my parents I'm going to just start hitting you, you know what I mean? Because I was getting really mad, I was getting irritated, and I was just getting agitated. My friends like, God, can we just beat him up? And I was like, no, no, we can't. I'll get in trouble. I'm probably already going to get in trouble anyway. But I don't want to add insult to injury. So we stay up all night with this dude. <laughs> just He's being annoying and reckless. And then the morning comes in, and, uh, well, I kick him out, finally. And I was like, I don't care if parents are locked out. You're actually getting out of my house this time. Bye. You know, daylight's out, so nothing can happen. So I kicked him out, and my uncle comes upstairs. And I already knew I was going to get it. He comes up, and he starts yelling at me for Cordell making the whale noises and stuff. And I was like, hey, man, it's your fault that, you know, you got this weird kid talking about, I don't know, molesting his brother and stuff to come up here and make whale noises all night. It's not my fault. I already tried to prevent that situation from happening. But he, he's sitting there, and he's just, like, acting all, you know, angry. And I was just like, well, whatever. It wasn't my fault, so I can't basically retaliate. You know what I mean? I just got, like, really mad. Well, a few months come by, and I decided to give this kid our chance because I'm a nice person. I, I try to be as nice as person as I possibly can. And my friend's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I don't know, man. And it was in our sleeper, me and Alex. Well, me and Alex were having a good time. And he brought our toothbrushes to make shanks. It was a joke because he liked to make a lot of shank jokes. So we're sitting there we're sharpening toothbrushes with, like, steak knives. And Cordell kept doing that. We stopped. We were just, like, hanging out. We're playing my Xbox. Now it's an Xbox. And we are just having a good time until Cordell decided to get all touchy again. Well, this time, we didn't resort that much. We just got, like, really, really mad at him. And we went out to take my dog out, and he starts going out shouting absurd things in public out to the street. And Alex turns around, and I tell you, I kid you not, he goes, Can you shut the fuck up? We're in public. And then Cordell's just like, Why? Anus. Anus. He was saying anus a lot for some reason, which was really weird. So we ended up kicking that kid out the next morning again. Kind of just like the first story. This kid was like a bother the whole time through uh, moments of my childhood. So this kid has a lot of stories, but I'm only going to tell you one more quickly before I wrap this up. Uh, he comes over to hang out one time, and me and Alex just weren't feeling it, so we kicked him out. We didn't even we didn't even tell him he could hang out. We just said, go away. You know what I mean? We're just like, go away at this point. We don't want to deal with your bullcrap, your uh, 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 stuff. Like, You know how like people say people are mentally challenged and they need friends? Well, this kid... Apparently, he was mentally challenged, but he wasn't mentally challenged. He knew what he was doing. You know what I mean? So, this whole time, he's sitting out there in the backyard of my neighbor's house, playing with rocks and talking to himself. And it, my friend was just, like, getting weird. I was like, dude, man, I don't think it's safe to even go outside. And I'm just like, what is he going to do? I was like, what is really, really, what is he going to do to intimidate us, dude? The kid's crazy. He obviously needs some medication or help. So we just kind of just stirred away from never talked to him again. And so one time later last year, I actually ran into him in person when I was walking down the street and he tried to talk to me and I kind of just kept avoiding him. He was like, Hey, uh, what's going on? I have a YouTube now. And I was like, Oh, that's cool. You know, I started walking away from the kid cause he's creepy. So that is my story. And, uh, about like maybe two minutes late again, uh, enjoyed his GTA four gameplay and the story I had. I hope you guys like it. Leave a like, subscribe and comment below. This has been Paradox Peace.